Welcome back to Sunsets Ponies, everyone. I'm going to talk about something a little different today. Uh, be assured that in the future, I will return to my regular My Little Pony content. But today I have something to say, and I feel it is important enough to come on camera and say it fa face to face, so to speak. We are living in trying times right now, and people across the globe are being affected by COVID-19, and there's a lot of fear. Before I go any further, I want to say that we all should absolutely be following the CDC guidelines. Wash your hands well and often. Practice social distancing. Be prepared for yourself, but also think of your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends, and the other citizens of your city and your country. Be prepared, but do not panic. And that is what I want to talk to you right now about fear. I don't typically talk about deeper things here. This is, after all, a channel devoted to colorful plastic ponies. Uh, in fact, I personally struggle with talking about anything that might be considered controversial. But if ever there was a time to share something deeper, I think the time is now. It is so easy to give in to fear when the world around you seems to be falling apart. But how do you not live in fear when anything and everything is so uncertain, when so much depends on people and events that you have no control over? The answer is to find an inner peace that does not rely on your outward circumstances. The kind of inner peace that doesn't rely on where you live or your job or your health or your family's health. All of those things could change tomorrow with or without the coronavirus. I know that I have a variety of viewers um, with all different kinds of worldviews and beliefs, but I hope you do not mind if I share where I find my own peace. I am a Christian. I believe that there is a God who is both righteous and merciful. I believe that we humans are fallen beings and that we are our own worst enemies. We could never reconcile ourselves with God. But the good news is that he is also merciful. And so he sent Jesus Christ, who is both man and God, down to earth to reconcile us with God, which is something we could never do ourselves. That is where I find my peace, that God loves me and that he has my best interest at heart. I know what many of you are thinking. How can you trust a God that allows things like a worldwide epidemic or cancer or any number of natural disasters? To be honest, I do not have all the answers. No human being will ever have all the answers to why bad things happen. You may ask, do you ever have any doubts? And the answer is yes. Having faith does not mean that you may never go through a season of doubt. We human beings may know something in our heads, but we keep having to redirect our hearts. It's a human trait I've noticed that affects all areas of our lives. And if someone ever tells you they have never doubted their faith, perhaps it is only that their faith has never been tested. My faith was tested over 15 years ago when my dad died suddenly. When I stood in church the following Sunday, only 24 hours after he had died, singing about how God is in control, you can bet that I was asking myself why. Why did God not save my dad? Why was my dad not healed when I had prayed so fervently? I will never have those answers, not as long as I am alive in this world. But in the end, I ask God for his compassion and his peace and the continued faith that no matter what happens, that he loves me. And that is what gives me peace when I fear, when I struggle with fear and anxiety. In the coming days, I urge you all to contemplate what gives you peace. If you would like to share in the comments, please do so. If you would like to also share techniques that you use to help control your own fear and anxiety, then please do that also. 
if you would like to speak with me about where I get my piece from, then I'll put my email in the summary. And I will also put a link in the summary if you would like to know more about what I believe as a Christian. That br brings me to my very last thing I want to say. If it is the only thing you take away from this video, then I hope you take it to heart. God loves you. You are loved.